As we know, water conservation is not only a wise thing to do, but it is essential. With ever-growing populations as well as scarcity of resources, it's no wonder we're talking about water storage solutions today. And for that, I've got our specialist who can tell us a bit more. Hey Etienne, thanks for having us. Only a pleasure, Ryan. So we're talking about water conservation and rainwater harvesting. Why is it so important to have a rainwater harvesting system? Ryan, our water scarce country, South Africa, desperately needs us to save as much water as we can. Yeah. And rainwater is a fantastic way of doing just that. And what are some of the uses of harvested rainwater? Rainwater can be used for all the dirty water uses, Ryan, like filling the pool, washing down cars, even flushing toilets. Now, when it comes to installing a rainwater tank, what are some of the classic pitfalls and do's and don'ts when it comes to installation? The classic pitfalls run, uh, in and around uh, the tanks is positioning, you know, getting the tank in the right position for its application. Um, some of the do's is, I think buying a good quality tank is so important. Yeah. That's an investment that you want to see a return on and you want it to last a long time. And, and some of the environmental considerations like uh, flooring or height or space, some of those type of things? Yes, those are all considerations. Flooring, the base of the tank is always very important. And another thing that we have to also be in mind, Ryan, is aesthetics. You know, we're yeah. going to put houses in and around our living space and we yeah. want them to look good too. I believe there's three different types of installation. Uh, tell us a bit more about this. We have three types of water storage systems. It includes rain harvesting water. First, we start with municipal water. Ryan, that's where someone stores municipal clean water in a tank in case of an emergency. The second system is rain harvesting system that's used for dirty water uses like we mentioned. And the third system is a fully integrated system which combines all of those together. And through adequate filtration, we put the water back into the house for full use. What are some of the key elements when installing these three types of installations? The municipal system is an independent system. If you're going to pump the water, you need to get a plumber in and integrate it with your existing plumbing. It's quite a, a specific installation and um, something that I think a professional really needs to do for you. The rain harvesting system has certain design elements that are key. Firstly, the pre-filtration before the water gets into the tank. Thereafter, the distribution after that. Maybe a pump or whatever network you're going to use to get the water into your garden or for whatever use you're going to use that water. The fully integrated system is now a combination of both. We put municipal water in as a backup into the fully integrated system. And then we use filtration to get that water to a high enough quality to use inside the house. So Etienne, I believe there's two ways to collect rain water, right? So there's a dry system and a wet system. Tell us a bit more about this. The dry system, Ryan, is the original system of running water off your roof into your tank. After the rainfall event, the pipes run dry. Mm -hmm. The wet system is a way of taking water vast distances. Sometimes for aesthetics reasons, we don't want to have a tank right against the house. We want to move it down to the bottom of the garden or somewhere out of sight. And what we do then is we fill a pipe with water and let the pipe carry the water to the tank. Now for the exciting part, our viewers get to see a simple DIY installation which they can do at home. Shall we go? Yes, let's go. Okay, so it's over here. Wow, Etienne, this looks pretty straightforward, but what do we have here? This is a classic a DIY special. A beautiful system. We're collecting water from the roof mm -hmm. through a pre-filtration device. Mm -hmm. They call it a leaf eater or a leaf catcher. It's a dry system. What they've done nicely here is they've put in a tank gauge so we can see how full the tank is. We also have an allocation for overflow, mm -hmm. which Ryan, in many instances, people don't consider. But you know, we have to treat the tank as if it's full because when it overflows, we have to look after that water and manage it and see where we're going to put it, okay? Another good thing about this installation is that uh, it's got a nice secure tank base. And sometimes people don't do a proper tank base. We need a secure tank base. Well, that seems pretty straightforward. I can see how the water gets in, but how does the water get out? Ryan, this tank manufacturer has come up with a very clever idea of putting in a tap for us. This is at a nice height, we can get a bucket underneath it. So if we don't have any power, we don't have any pumps, we can still access the water. Now if we don't want to just gravity feed and we want to use the water for washing cars or filling pools, we can put a pump in. So Etienne, I believe that uh, if you do want to have a pump installed, it comes in kit form, but is it as easy as one, two, three? Absolutely right. It really is a matter of connecting all the connections that are inside the box to the tank and to the pump. It really is as simple as plug and play. Cool, well, let's go do it. Super. With a home installation kit, it's vital that you read the instructions before attempting to start the process. Etienne begins by adding plumber's tape to ensure the connections are watertight. To stop the tape from pushing back when attaching connections, start by wrapping the tape from the base and work your way towards the opening. Attach the tap that comes with the pump kit. 
and also ensure that the connector that screws into the actual pump is watertight with plumber's tape. Clip the connecting pipe onto both the electric pump and the water tank. Plug the pump into an electric socket and watch it kick into action when you open the tap. The pump gives you enough pressure to use your rainwater in and around the garden. Wow, Etienne, that really was as easy as one, two, three. I mean, it was so simple. You plugged it in, pressed play, and there we go. That's right, Ryan. This is designed to be easily packed away if you don't want to leave it out permanently. But should you want to leave it out permanently, don't forget to get a good cover for the pump. Yeah, absolutely. So guys, it's so simple, right? Everything's been demystified for you. So why don't you go out, get a water storage tank like this, and conserve our most precious resource, water.